Gonna Happy be good. Mary. Oh, oh thanks, thanks, sweetheart. Mary. Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening. I don't know what time it is where you are. It's the morning here. The morning of mine and Jamie's four year wedding anniversary. Four years. It does sort of still feel like yesterday that we were at Hollywell Hall getting married, just having the best day ever. I've come out for some fresh air because Rupert has gone swimming with Jamie. Jamie's very kindly taken Rupert for me for an hour so I can just have an hour to myself because being pregnant and having a toddler is very very hard but more on that later so wedding anniversary yeah woke up this morning had a lovely breakfast we're heading out for a little dinner tonight um which I'm really really excited about any time that Jamie and I get to ourselves is precious so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to just spending some time with Jamie, just being able to talk for a couple of hours uninterrupted. But yeah, four years since we were at Hollywell, saying our vows, saying I do, um, it's flown by, but it's been amazing. And the memories from that day, the musical, all the guests, the party, the dancing afterwards, it was just brilliant. And we, we really had just the best time ever. If you follow us on Instagram, if you don't, please do. I posted some photos this morning. So today is actually Thursday. This vlog's going out tomorrow. So yesterday, so go and take a look. It's nice to always look back at sort of pictures and videos. Oh, we'll have to watch our ved wedding video tonight. Yeah, I think it was this time last year that we probably last watched it. <laughs> yeah, in the space of four years, we have sold our house. We've got a two-year-old. We've moved to Norfolk. We have got another baby on the way due in November. I feel a lot bigger this time around, which I know is often the case with second pregnancies. So everything is just slowing down a lot quicker, um, which I wasn't expecting because I still need to have lots of energy to run around after Rupert. If anybody's got any tips on preparing for a newborn and a toddler, please let me know because I'm starting to actually slowly get ready now. Um, I'm 22 weeks at the moment, but obviously Rupert arrived a month early. So in my mind, I'm thinking I need to be completely ready to go, hopefully by 30 weeks, you know, if all goes well. And I'm a bit of a nervous wreck this pregnancy. I'm not going to lie. My nerves are just gone. I think it's because I know what's coming. And, you know, Rupert was not the easiest baby. We really struggled with feeding and colic. Um sleepless nights but we did get through it and I know I'm going to get through it again um but I'm just feeling yeah a little bit more nervous this time around but anyway onwards and upwards we need to focus on the positives this is Bump hello Bump say hello 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 um so yeah just feeling a lot bigger this time around um, but it's quite nice. I've also got terrible backache, just like I had with Rupert. So even though I've got a nice, pretty summer dress on, it's actually my lovely sisters, I'm wearing my trainers with some special insoles to just give me a little bit more support. So I've got incredibly high arches. But during pregnancy, uh, I had it with Rupert, I just get a really, really, really bad back. Um, but the insoles and the trainers massively help. It just means I have to have shoes on all the time in the house because I genuinely, if I take them off and I just walk on a hard floor, my back goes and I need to sit down. In fact, I think I need to sit down now. Oh, that's better. Also coming up this week, we, so tomorrow, Saturday, when everyone watches this, we will be in Stamford, just outside of Stamford, going to view a house, which we're really excited about. Um, it's a project. <laughs> that's for sure but it's quite exciting um in a tiny tiny little village just outside of Stamford but the proximity that the house is to Stamford is making us very excited because if you're familiar with the Stamford area it's so beautiful a lot of people obviously want to live there because it's so lovely the house prices are quite expensive and so you know we really want to find something that we can put our mark on um and sort of grow into over the next sort of 10 years or however many years because we don't really want to move once we've got Rupert settled into school. He's just started preschool which is super cute um, here in Norfolk and he's loving it. There have been a few tears at drop off but I think that's to be expected. He's only a few weeks in um, but when we pick him up he's just smiling constantly and you can tell he's had a really good day. He has to look after some new chicks in the classroom, these tiny tiny little baby chicks 
um, because the, the preschool is is based right next to a farm so there's like lots of animals and it's really sweet so there's there's been a lot of change for us recently and i think we're just trying to like take our time with it and throw a new baby into the mix there's a lot going on um but it is very very exciting we haven't had that much time to sit down and sing lately which is really sad we miss it um so hopefully we'll be able to sit down and record a little bit of music soon anyway i think i've waffled on enough jamie's due back any minute now from swimming so i hope they've had fun i took him i took rupert last week and within 10 minutes he was like finished now mummy it's not like whinging like i want to get out of the pool wow he just looks at me and goes no more swimming mummy i finished now <laughs> and the instructor's there like oh and i'm like sorry this is awkward i'm just gonna um yeah he's quite a character also this week i've been very busy painting um so we've been in norfolk for a couple months now and yeah it's we we just want i mean jamie's parents are amazing they're very relaxed about us sort of putting our own little stamp on sort of our bedroom and things like that um which is lovely so where rupert is at the moment is kind of like the i mean there's lots of adults living here there's lots of children living here at the moment um it's sort of like the place we hang all of our washing <laughs> it's like the designated corner where we hang all of our washing um so poor rupert is sort of sleeping in a little bit of a laundry room <laughs> so we decided to give it some a new lease of life and paint it and put some new curtains up in fact i'll head inside now and i'll just give you a little bit of a, a tour of rupert's new new bedroom here we go new paint finished it's looking very very sweet so we have introduced rupert to a pillow and duvet cover these i bought from amazon um, which have been amazing. They're really sort of light for the summer, which is great. I'll link those below. So the shade that we went for is Cremati by Faro and Ball, and I'm obsessed with it. I think whenever we do find a house, I'm going to paint the entire house in Cremati because it's, it's brilliant. It's just so like warm and inviting. It's very, very sweet. Um, and then I just got some little curtains from a shop called Dunelm. Um, I think everyone in the UK knows what Dunelm is, but if you're from abroad, I'll link it below. They were only £50, so not that expensive. Um, I'll show you now. Just some nice striped curtains, which are totally black out. So we have to black out this room for Rupert. And then I got some tie backs, some little pom-pom tie backs, which will look really sweet. So we're getting there. It's not quite finished yet. I also ordered some prints from Amazon, which are gorgeous. So I basically got a pack of eight of these really beautiful watercolour prints. Be fearless, be bold. It's got a little truck, rocket ship, aeroplane, which is Rupert's favourite. Be kind. So we're going to put these up on the walls. And they were £24 for eight. Um, so again, I'll link them below. But I think for like a little boy's room, approaching sort of the toddler years, I think these are lovely. So apologies, that's the extent of my little home tour. <laughs> Not really a home tour, just one bedroom. But I think, genuinely think I can hear Jamie and Rupert coming down the driveway. Let's go and see. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How was it? Great. How are you doing, Rupert? Did you like it? Swimming. Where did you go? Swimming. Swimming? Swimming. Did you jump in? We loved it, didn't we? <laughs> Climb out this way. Do you need help? No. And then can you We're going to have two Cybex car seats in the back soon. We yeah. just got another base, didn't we? So Gosh, this car's going to be in? full. Should we put the baby seat in? Oh. It's going to be like this, Roots. Sit there. You sit there. Yeah. I think the... Who's going to sit here? Rupert. I actually think the baby might sit here. In your old car seat. You've been given so much stuff by Cybex, Rupert. Me sit there. Well, you can, but there's, there's, no, there's seat. no seat there. Me sit there. Go on then, you sit there then. That's it. <laughs> Is it comfy? <laughs> huh? That doesn't look very comfy like that. Oh. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> I'm excited for this evening. I know, I can't wait. It's gonna Happy be good. Mary. Oh, oh, thanks, thank sweetheart. Mary. That's really sweet. Do you know how many years Mummy and Daddy have been married? Can we say one, two, three? 
Nine. <laughs> We're not We're at not nine yet. yet. Although we are at 12 years together. She gonna get some lunch, Riru? Riru. Managed to squeeze into the only dress that fits. <laughs> Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm excited for this. I want to go start a main dessert. Oh, you say that, but when it comes to it, Maybe I'm not sure. Dessert, then. Definitely dessert. I feel like we haven't been out for a while. When do we ever go out? No, no. that's a lie. We went out um, to the pub out? a few weeks back. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, so we have. But twice in two months. And also, we always make, that's not bad. We always make a cautious effort to put Rupert down to bed. So yeah. it's not like we've got an evening off. From Rupert, no. which is fine. I love hanging out with little Ru. He'll oh. be sat with us at dinner. We'll have our little nanit screen on next to us, <laughs> just checking that he's still sleeping. Happy anniversary. Mm, happy anniversary. We haven't even done the cards yet. Oh, did I leave them inside? No, no, I've got them in the oh, car. Okay. We'll have to do them at the restaurant. Guys, I am outraged. What did you just say to me? I said, if we were to have three courses, I wish you could do starter, main, starter. I would much what? prefer a starter for pudding than an actual pudding. That is so wrong. Just imagine a scotch egg. Dessert, egg Jamie. Dessert. Sticky toffee pudding. Apple yeah. crumble. I guess, I Custard. Think, let us know in the, am I the only one? Is, that, is it weird? Come on guys, please. Are you a dessert person or a starter person? Um, I'm definitely, because we were just saying, Megan was going to go main and dessert, and I was like, well, I kind of want starter and main, but that means for two courses, we're literally eating on our own. Well, that's okay. Anyway, let us know. Let's start a debate. How cute is this? I don't think I've ever been here. I'm just going to show you this quickly. You know, I only had one cup link. That's the, the, the J, sorry. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. <laughs> you are hilarious. That's all I could find. I have made a good decision. I haven't had a white chocolate strawberry in forever. Guess who's designated driver? Very handy having a pregnant wife. It is. Have a few beverages. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. It was delicious. Very tasty. Really, really I good. had three courses, not just the two. Oh, you did, yeah. You had your two courses that you wanted. And the best treacle tart. That was delicious. I don't know if I said it on the vlog, but I mentioned that if they have a scotch egg, I'll always have a scotch egg for pudding. I actually didn't <laughs> have a scotch egg for pudding, but I had one for starter. And it was tasty. Honest. Yeah, go up that way. Righty, righty. So we're on our way home. On our way home. Just in time for Love Island. We don't watch Love Island. We don't watch, I don't watch Love Island. I have a massive crush on Uzi. He is one beautiful specimen. But he's no longer. He's no longer in. In Love Island, hence why it's now nine o'clock and we're still driving. She, yeah. she didn't want to be there for the but start. I do follow him on Instagram now. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, you do, or Jamie and Megan does? No, I think, I thought, oh, I don't know, actually. Hopefully Me, Jamie think... and Megan doesn't. <laughs> Another year together. We're going to go home now, get in bed, and watch the wedding video. Did we bring our cards back? Yes. Yeah, okay, we don't want to leave them. That would be embarrassing if we leave leave our cards on the dinner table. Before we end the vlog, I just want to say a massive thank you uh, to everyone who's donated. I, If you missed last week's video, I am now running the London Marathon in April... April, April 21st, 21st yeah April 21st next year running the London Marathon for prostate cancer and I announced it in last week's video and I'm already 30% of the way there it's amazing. how good is that thank you so much to you guys the subscribers it's the only place I've mentioned it so it's all down to you if anyone else wants to donate I had questions about donating from America you can do it from there just click the link and send it through it's for a great cause um, so yeah please feel free to head over there link in the description and donate some money bye for now though we'll see you next week see you next week we're actually from Stamford oh, this week we're going to go see a house I fingers crossed it. okay Megan's already said it I didn't know <laughs> we will see you next week from Stamford from Uppingham possibly from wherever we're going thank you so much for watching liking subscribing we don't have Rupert to say subscribe. No, we don't. That worked really well. We actually got quite a few subscribers from that. Night, night. See you next week. Bye. Bye. -bye.